Hello everyone, Ari here. Welcome back. So in today's report is a story that we've been following up and that is the race to select the next leader of the World Trade Organization. So the latest news coming in, coming in is that Dr. Okonje Iwela of Nigeria is poised to be the next leader. That is after the South Korean Minister, minister of Trade known as Yu myung hee withdrew from the race. So there have been two finalists, two women and one is meant to take on the role. So one has dropped out one of South Korea and it leaves Dr. Okonjo of Nigeria as the only candidate remaining in the race. Yu myung -hee withdrew from the race after the USA declared its support for Dr. Okonjo Iwela and the current support of the US is opposite to its previous support because the Trump administration had blocked Dr. Okonjo's selection to be the next leader and they were instead in favor of Yu myung -hee. But uh, since US is in support of her now, uh, that is great news. So Dr. Okonjo tweeted, grateful for the expression of support from the US today for Director General of the World Trade Organization Congratulations to Madame Yu, Yu of Republic of Korea for a hard fought campaign. Thank you, President Buhari, that's the President of Nigeria, and all Nigerians from your unflinching support. Thank you, friends. I love to my family. Glory be to God. So if Dr. Okonjo is finally appointed by the WTO members, she'll be the first African or the first woman or even the first person of color to lead the World Trade Organization. So the members of the WTO, it has 164 members, are meant to sit and you know do a consensus to be able to appoint her as their next director general and she'll be doing that for the next four years. The race to find the leader of the WTO came about after its previous director general known as Roberto Azebedo from Brazil stepped down one year prior to the ex expiration of his contract, that is last year in August. So initially there were eight candidates from eight different countries trying to get this role, but the two finalists came out to be these two women and one has stepped down. So it leaves Dr. Okonjo with a higher chance, you know, an opposed take on this role. About Dr. Okonjo Iwela, she is 66 years old, she is Nigerian, but she also holds American citizenship, she got that in 2019. She served two terms as the finance minister of Nigeria and she was also the first female finance minister of Nigeria. She also served as the foreign minister of Nigeria. She also sits on the board of directors of Twitter. Gavi, Gavi is Global Alliance for Vaccine and Immunization, the African Risk Capacity. In addition to that, she has a long career that she did at the World Bank serving as a development economist over 25 years. So she is quite an experienced person to take on this role. Uh, Dr. Iwala is highly respected for her experience, you know, with leadership or even in international organizations. She worked as the managing director of operations at the World Bank. So she is very uh, suitable for this role. And uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. A first female, <laughs> first black woman to lead such a huge body. And uh, share your thoughts and let us know what you think about this story. Check out my YouTube channel, Atreya Kimbawazi. My channel is Gramos Atreya Kimbawazi. And see you on the next story. Bye.